The purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to create a mobile, portable, brand new notebook inside of Microsoft OneNote 2010. The purpose of this notebook is so that when you're no longer at a specific computer, you can access this notebook anywhere that you have an internet access and you can make modifications online. Secondly, if you desire to, you could also open that same notebook on a computer that has Microsoft OneNote installed on that particular machine. So in this case, to get started with creating the new notebook, you would go ahead and click on the File tab. Once that opens, you're going to click New. In this area, you're going to look over to the right and it's going to say Store Notebook On. You're going to select Web. To get started with this, you will need an account on Microsoft OneDrive, but follow the steps just as I'm doing here. Under number two for name, you're going to click. I'm going to give this notebook a name. And in this instance, if I decided to call this iPad, what I would do at that point is either A, I would click sign in if I already have an account. In your case, if you don't have one, you would click sign up for Windows Live in order to create a brand new OneDrive account. The nice part about this is you can store your particular OneNote notebooks online and you'll get a free 15 gigabytes of storage space. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click sign in. You'll notice that you have this window. If you need to create an account, you'll select this area where it says don't have a Microsoft account, sign up. In my case, I have one, so what I'm going to do is enter my information and then I'll come back and sign in. And at this point, I can see that it's contacting the server and it's attempting the process to log in. Once that process is complete, all I'm going to do at that particular time is note that it shows my name in this area. And if I scroll down a little bit, I can now click Create Notebook. This will give me this information that's on the screen is going to give me a heads up that it's creating that notebook. And once it's finished, I'm going to get this notification on screen asking me if I want an email link mailed for this particular notebook. And there you have it. It points out that the notebook was created. It tells you it's accessible to anyone that has permissions at that web location to access it. And it says, do you want to email someone about the notebook? In my case, I don't want to email a link in order to share it, so I'm going to click No Thanks. That's how you create that notebook. One thing I want to point out, the notebook is created. You'll see it over here on the left side. You'll also notice that there is a sync icon so that if you type any information in this notebook, it's going to save it online inside of Microsoft OneDrive, which will give you the opportunity to log back into Microsoft OneDrive and access that account and make any types of changes that you desire while you're on the go.